Bam. I like this view here. One of the beautiful things that came out of me going to Coney Island uh, yesterday and not being at the World Trade Center yesterday was I had the opportunity to bounce intelligence off another dude. It just so happened I needed to find a spot and I asked this brother and he and I kicked up a conversation. And he told me he had went down to Florida. I told him where I'm from and what have you. And he told me that, you know, he didn't dig Florida that much. And he told me he saw some uh, Confederate flags up. And he was uncomfortable with that. And I told him, you know, um, that's really not a big deal. You know, those people are not really racist. They're pretty much doing what people are doing in America, trying to show pride in whatever they represent. Just like you have gay pride, you have Confederate pride, you have uh, white supremacist uh, pride, you have Jewish pride, you have black pride, you have all type of people trying to show pride in what they represent. So I told them I have no problem with Confederates. They represent their history as everybody's trying to be proud of something. And he and I had a chance to bump intelligence off him. As I said, there's no human being that will ever have my intelligence. And he was shocked when I told him Donald Trump is my guy. And I had to explain to him why Donald Trump is my guy. And I told him Donald Trump has too much intelligence really to be the president of this country because most people even though they've seen Donald Trump, they really don't know Donald Trump history and they don't know the makeup of that dude, Donald Trump. And so he and I had a chance, again, people, to bump and bounce intelligence off each other. The guy's intelligence, he gave me some intelligence about history that I pretty much know. But when I talked to him about the planets, his eyes opened up a little more. And he was like, wow, I never thought of that. Plus, I got a chance to show Mike my girl's continental planetary globes. And he was wild by that. And as I told him, the people down in Florida who represent the Confederate flag, they're not bigots, no other skinheads because those people who represent the Confederate flag, they did not ban David Givens from teaching. It was the bigot Cubans down in Miami-Dade County Public School System who banned Mr. Givens from teaching when David Givens is not a criminal. I am the greatest mind that will ever step foot on this land, people. There is no one comparable to my overallness. And again, me getting on the F train and going to Coney Island instead of the World Trade Center was a blessing. Cause Mike and I had a beautiful chance to bump intelligence off each other. And the video that you're going to see is created by a great mind. that no human that has been in the World Trade Center has made a video like this. And when I looked at the video, I looked at the World Trade Center, I said, I gotta make it like this. So big up to you, Mike, for being in the spot where you were. Much love to my beautiful girls and their parents and the superpower of the human race, the girl and all glory and power to the land that was used to build this design that inspired, that is inspired and come from the greatest engineers and creators. Animals, insects, man, 
men, the great minds like myself, are envious and have learned a hell of a lot from animals. But again, it's not people who represent the Confederate flag who banned me from teaching this to bigot Cubans down in Miami-Dade County Public Schools. And I told Mike, you judge people by their behavior and actions, not a flag or a symbol. Much love and all glory and power to the land. And that love goes to my beautiful girls. And the girl, she has absolute power over all ignorant men. For I have intelligence and talent over the entire human race and even the girl. But she is absolute power.